If you've just picked up the iPhone 15 or if you've owned it for the past month, there are a few important settings that you need to change. These essential tweaks will cover your iPhone security, privacy, cool features, and app settings. And just to mention, the tips and tricks in today's video can extend to any iPhone running the latest iOS 17. Okay, let's begin. Hey everyone, it's Nomad Flair here, and let's dive into the first feature. First and foremost, let's focus on battery settings. Open the settings app, scroll to battery, and here you have the option to display the battery percentage in the top right corner. I highly recommend enabling this as it gives you a clear indication of how much juice is left in the battery, as opposed to not enabling it. Moving on to battery health and charging optimization, you have two crucial options. Optimize battery charging. This tracks your charging habits to extend battery life, while the 80% limit caps the total charge to 80%, reducing wear on your battery. Choose the option that aligns with your preferences, but I generally recommend the first for a balance between optimization and full battery capacity. However, if your battery's maximum capacity is starting to dip below the 90s, then the 80% limit option should be considered. For iPhones with an always-on display, turning off this feature will conserve battery by displaying only essential information. Okay, on to the next feature, which is the background app refresh. This is to preserve battery again. In general settings, explore background app refresh, manually select apps that can run in the background, saving battery by limiting unnecessary background processes. The next tip is to optimize and customize your notification settings. To do this, head to notification settings, then configure, show previews, then configure show previews to display only when the phone is unlocked. Review individual app notifications to prioritize essential alerts, minimizing distractions and conserving battery. On to mail settings. To optimize battery life, review your mail settings. In fetch new data, disable the push option to prevent constant background checking for new emails. Instead, choose a reasonable interval such as hourly to balance timely updates with battery efficiency. The next tip is to ensure you take photos and videos at the best resolution. Head over to the camera settings and record video. If you're just recording a general video, then go for 4K 60 frames per second. If you're recording a cinematic video, there is an inbuilt feature for this. However, if you don't want to use it, then opt for 4K at 30 frames per second. That will be the best option. However, if you're low in storage, then 720 or 1080p resolution will be the best route to take. Then scroll down to enhance stabilization and enable this for smooth video footage. Then head back out, head to formats and select high efficiency for reduced file size. For photo capture, click on photo mode and select 24 megapixel for the best image quality. If you use Pro Raw, then click here and make sure the last option is selected for up to 48 megapixels. The last setting on the camera app to tweak, which is a great addition to the iPhone 15 series, is the ability to shoot images at different lenses. Click on main camera and make sure 28 and 35 millimeters are both selected. Another tip to reduce battery drain is to switch off location services when not in use. This can be found in the privacy and security settings, then turn it off. The next tip will secure your Wi-Fi connection. Navigate to Wi-Fi settings and select Ask to join networks. If you're wary of public Wi-Fi networks, switch this feature off to avoid any unsolicited prompts, particularly in places like cafes or restaurants, where networks may not be secure. On the topic of security, automatic system updates is very important. So navigate to General, select Software Update, and enable automatic updates. This feature will ensure your iPhone receives the latest iOS updates automatically, which will ultimately guide your iPhone against potential vulnerabilities. If you tend to send images to friends and family using the Message app, then you want to disable this feature. Head over to Settings, then Messages, scroll all the way down to Low Quality Image Mode, make sure this is disabled. This will ensure you send and receive full resolution photos and videos, maintaining the best quality within iMessage conversations. So if you use the Notes app and you want to protect sensitive information, then you need to do this. Explore the Notes app settings, where you can enhance privacy by password locking specific notes. This adds an extra layer of security, safeguarding sensitive information from preying eyes. This next tip is to tailor your home screen by choosing where newly downloaded apps appear. You can either opt for the app to be added to your home screen or in the app library. 
Additionally, decide whether to show or hide the search bar on the home screen for a personalized and streamlined interface. Now, let's delve into Face ID and passcode settings for additional security measures. Set an alternative appearance for Face ID. This will require you to position your face in various angles to set this up. Once all set up, then enable require attention for Face ID for an extra layer of protection. This will make sure that you are looking at the camera before unlocking the device. In the same section, head over to other apps. This will feature all the apps that you've enabled Face ID for. I highly recommend you enable this for all banking apps or any app that holds your banking details. If you scroll all the way down to Erase Data, this feature is optional. If you activate the Erase Data option, this will wipe your device after 10 incorrect password attempts. This is a crucial security feature in case of theft or loss. If you have kids and you leave your phone laying around, then you shouldn't consider this option. Okay, customizing the display brightness. Adjust brightness settings to your liking. If you prefer manual control, disable auto brightness in the accessibility settings. Or alternatively, use Siri to toggle auto brightness based on your preferences. Hey Siri, increase the brightness. Increase the brightness. Perfect. Let's fine tune airdrop settings to prevent accidental connections. What you want to do is disable bringing devices together to avoid constant connections, promoting privacy and of course security. This next tip I really love. This is to prevent any accidental call hangups when you're in the middle of a conversation on the phone. In accessibility settings, under touch, enable prevent lock to end call to ensure pressing the side button doesn't prematurely end calls. This next feature is very important when driving a car, a motorcycle, or even a bicycle. In emergency SOS settings, enable features like crash detection and the call after serious crash option. These features automatically alert emergency services and your chosen contacts in the event of a serious car crash. And lastly, customizing our Siri settings. Okay, let's head over to Siri and search and select off this will disable constant listening for activation phrases. Instead, activate Siri using the sign button when needed. This will conserve your battery. In conclusion, these settings, tips and tricks are designed to optimize your iPhone experience from preserving battery life to enhancing privacy and security. Take the time to customize these configurations based on your preferences and usage patterns. If you found this guide to be helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tech and gaming related content. And until next time, everyone, take care. It's not a game, it's a